हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लॉजिक मेडिको इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल बटन टू गेट द लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ द वीडियोस टुडे इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इज एनुलर पैनक्रियास सो व्हाट इज दिस एनुलर पैनक्रियास इट इज वन ऑफ द कंजेनेटल अनॉमली ऑफ द पैनक्रिया ओके लेट्स सी दिस टॉपिक एनुलर पैनक्रियास द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द पैनक्रियास can be understood by diagrams by notes to replicate it in exams and also the anomaly of the development of pancreas is called as annular pancreas what is the embryological basis for this we'll see this in this present video so this pancreas is developed from endoderm of the foregut so the, what is this foregut the lowermost end of the foregut will give one diverticulum so this foregut is present in the head fold of the embryo initially the embryo will have a sac in front it's called the yolk sac and a sac behind called as amniotic cavity after the formation of the head fold this yolk sac is drawn into the embryo to form the foregut midgut and hindgut within the head fold the lateral folds and the tail fold so foregut is that part of the yolk sac within the head fold of the embryo the lower part of the foregut below the diaphragm will give rise to the gastric bubble and the lower most part near the duodenum will give rise to the pancreatic buds we'll see that here see this is the lower most end of the foregut below the diaphragmatic opening it is giving rise to a fusiform dilatation which is called as gastric bubble this portion will give rise to the future duodenum the lower most part okay here it give rise to two pancreatic buds the ventral which is facing forward you can see this is a cut section here the ventral pancreatic bud and the dorsal pancreatic bud you can note that the dorsal pancreatic bud is slightly cranial to the ventral pancreatic bud both these buds starts their appearance at fourth week of intrauterine life so the development of pancreas starts by two buds what are the ventral and dorsal pancreatic bud dorsal pancreatic bud slightly cranial to the ventral pancreatic bud later the dorsal pancreatic bud grows much rapidly when compared to the ventral pancreatic bud after the duodenum which was initially facing ventral you can see in the previous one where the ventral pancreatic bud and dorsal are with respect to their name now it comes to fall on the right side and the left side so the ventral pancreatic bud is now on the right side and the dorsal pancreatic bud is on the left side you can see that it is growing rapidly also the ventral pancreatic bud will have two bifid nature which has united to form a single portion now this ventral pancreatic bud grows on to the posterior aspect of duodenum to touch the lower portion of the dorsal pancreatic bud so this is right side ventral and dorsal pancreatic bud is on the left side you can see that it has grown behind the duodenum to join the lower portion of the dorsal pancreatic bud so what is the fate of this dorsal pancreatic bud it gives rise to the upper portion of the head the neck of pancreas the entire body and the tail of pancreas whereas the ventral pancreatic bud along with the bile duct it has moved across the posterior surface of duodenum to give rise to the lower portion of the head and a tongue like projection called as uncinate process you can see that here as well the ventral pancreatic bud has given rise to lower portion of the head and the uncinate process so that is due to axial rotation of duodenum so in summary the pancreas is developed from two bud ventral and dorsal pancreatic bud ventral bud initially bifid in nature later which was initially anterior or ventral now shifts to the right side that is because of duodenum falls on the right side and dorsal pancreatic bud grows much rapidly when compared to the ventral pancreatic bud ultimately due to the axial rotation that is duodenum rotates upon itself the axial rotation the ventral pancreatic bud moves across the posterior surface of duodenum to touch the lower portion of the dorsal pancreatic bud therefore the pancreas is presently shaped like this so the fate of dorsal pancreatic bud is give rise to the upper part of the head neck the entire body and the tail of pancreas the ventral pancreatic bud give rise to the lower portion of the head and the uncinate process that is a summary of the development of pancreas okay ventral pancreatic bud will give rise to the lower half of the head and the uncinate process while the dorsal pancreatic bud give rise to the upper half of the head the neck the entire body and the tail of the pancreas whereas coming to the this condition called as annular pancreas 
why this happens see i already told you the ventral pancreatic bud is initially a bilobed structure normally it should unite fast and become a single lobed structure but occasionally in some individuals in some child approximately at fourth week of intrauterine life this bite feed structure remains bifid like a snake's tongue okay it will have two tips you can see that these two tips out of these two tips they will fall under the right side but later during the axial rotation of duodenum one of the bifid will move on the dorsal surface of duodenum or the posterior surface to touch the dorsal pancreatic bud whereas another part of the ventral pancreatic bud moves from the front surface it is as simple as this tongue like projection is done two tongue like projections one will grow behind the duodenum the other will grow in front of the duodenum ultimately they touch the dorsal pancreatic bud and they unite with the same so when they touch the dorsal pancreatic bud it normally it should have formed the lower part of the head and the uncinate process now it forms like a constriction around the second part of duodenum that is because one of the portion of the ventral pancreatic bud has grown behind as usual while the other portion has grown in front of the duodenum to touch the dorsal pancreatic bud therefore this forms like a annulus or a cuff or a collar around the second portion of duodenum constricting the same so this child will have a projectile vomiting a newborn baby will have projectile vomiting bile stain may be present in the vomitus and the child is not able to digest the food or the milk which is it, which it is feeding upon so this anomaly of the pancreas is called as annular pancreas it results from a ring of pancreatic tissue surrounding the second part of the duodenum it occurs in 1 in 15000 live births and it is associated with other conditions like esophageal atresia congenital heart disease and down syndrome that is just this annular pancreas genetic abnormality is associated with other genetic abnormalities which are in only same genes the esophageal atresia the congenital heart disease and the down syndrome so this is an interesting point here you appears like one air shadow is here another air shadow is here this air shadow is the gastric air shadow this air shadow is a duodenal air shadow here there will be annular pancreas this is called as double bubble sign so it appears like two bubbles are there inside the abdomen this is a radiograph of the abdomen of a child okay part of thorax also is seen so this double bubble sign is a is a radiological finding in in annular pancreas but it is not uh, diagnostic of the same okay it is one of the finding of annular pancreas wherein one of the air bubble i already told you it is there in stomach while the other air bubble is there in the duodenum unfortunately this double bubble sign is not only seen in annular pancreas but it is also seen in other condition if at all the duodenum is narrowed by itself it's called duodenal atresia also the rotation of the intestine if it mal rotates even in that condition we can see double bubble sign though double bubble sign is one of the sign in annular pancreas other investigation has to be done to confirm the annular pancreas later those annular pancreas has to be excised so that duodenum can be the constriction which is there around the duodenum is relieved thereby facilitating the digestion and propulsion of food forward okay so hope you like this video like and share this video don't forget to press the thumbs up button okay kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get the latest notification of the video thank you once again for watching the video